Hello. Welcome to Coding Cave. My name is Andre. And my name is Chris. And today we're going to be talking about the width macro in Elixir. The definition of the width macro in Elixir is that if all clauses match, the do block is executed, returning its result. Otherwise, the chain is aborted and the non match value is returned. So in this case, we have a function called hello, which has a few width statements inside of it. The first one is width one equals equals shock.dna, which can, can be compiled down into width one equals equals three, which can then be compiled down into width false. In this case, all of these are the exact same statements and will all execute what's inside of that do block. So we will get crazy, insane, and wait what. The reason why is that with the with macro, any value by itself that is not pattern match will always execute. Just like the final with statement where we have some values of pi will execute aha eureka. Yeah, so a lot of people coming from like an object oriented language like Java might not th think this normal. So this is something you want to watch out for, which brings us to our next point on how you might actually want to do this in Elixir. So because we know that equal equals will return a value, we need to actually match that value to something. In this case, we know shock DNA is going to return three. So one will never equal equal three. So we will get the value true or false. So it will try to pattern match this this thing here, one equal equals shock.dne to true. And that will fail. And the width uh, documentation tells us that if the pattern match fails, then the thing that did not match is returned and can be handled by the else clause. So else we take in the thing that was returned by this failing and we get false. So we match from false and we print more sanity. This makes sense to us. Another example of this, a more streamlined way of doing this is let's say now we want to pattern match on three from my shock DNA. We know that shock DNA will always return three. So this thing right here is saying, give me the value of shock DNA and match it to our left hand side. This will match. But also, if we check into the with documentation, with allows us to use more than one matching clause. So we have a secondary clause here. And now I'm just using a very simple example. I'm asking, well, does four match to two? No, it doesn't. So four doesn't match to two. So we go to our else block. And we're going to receive some pattern matches. Right now, we are passing down four. This is three, so we're not running this. We'll end up running this. So four, and then we'll run, run this function, io.puts e. So this should print four here. And then down here, another case, the with statement can take any match operator, including the, the match operator equal. So here we're saying, does this on the right match with one? on the left and of course the answer is no but in the case of the equal sign there's some other things going on here that we can talk about in another video where we have a match error so we have to use a try and a rescue but essentially this is all there is to the with macro it's just a bunch of matching clauses so if we uh, go again and actually compile our code and going down here and do test dot goodbye. We get more sanity like we expected. Here. We get four like we expected here. And here we got sanity. And that's what we expected. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, give us a like comment any information that you would like us to go over or like us to explain more detail and subscribe